all right guys welcome to scanning 101 and today we're gonna be configuring scan to folder and we're gonna be using Shardes program to do so um, let's say that you put the CD inside the computer and it should restart by itself but let's say that it didn't so you're gonna go to computers and you're gonna go to the C drive basically you're gonna see all these folders you're gonna locate this folder you're gonna open it and you're gonna open the one that says setup you're gonna go ahead and click yes of course we're gonna do English and click OK run okay if the city is start by itself this is gonna be the first screen that you're gonna see and what it's doing now is installing the program on the computer so let's just give it a second okay here we go um, this is pretty simple uh, just follow me the steps uh, for now we're gonna hit next we're gonna hit next and yes it's gonna ask you to input serial number of the program in this case we're gonna use 1032NSX631AP00955 next next we're gonna uh, use typical we're gonna hit next we're gonna hit next next and the program install installing the program on the computer uh, now the serial number that we used before you can use it on every single time because this is not a program that's gonna go live in the internet so it doesn't need doesn't require to have different serial number for each customer that you're gonna install it to all right so let's give it a couple of minutes for it to finish installing All right, and it's all done. Now, at this time, we do not want to restart the computer, and the reason is that we still need to configure the scanner profile. So we're gonna hit finish, and we're gonna go to star. We're gonna look to all programs, and we're gonna locate the program that we install, Desktop Document Manager. Now, depending on the version of the CD that you're using, you may also see it as chart desk under the S. Um, we're gonna open that folder and then we're gonna go to network scanner configuration tool. We're gonna hit yes. And here we are. We're gonna hit next. Now the program is gonna look on the network for all the copiers machine that you have connected, all the sharp machines. Alright, on this case, the program found three machines. Now we're gonna use, on this example, we're gonna use just one in case that you encounter customers that have more than one. Uh, always ask the customer if they wanna have a scanner function on both machines. On that case, you will add both. So for now, let's just gonna add this one and let's hit next. Um, right here is gonna asking you the name of the profile on the scanner um, always ask the customer which name they want to use on the scanner it could be the person's name you know a person that is using that computer or it could be something more generic um, like a front desk computer um, warehouse so in this case we're going to keep it as warehouse and on the initial we're going to do w we're going to go ahead and hit next all right, um, there is four type of scanning, as you see here, OCR, email folder, and desktop. 
we're gonna get into each of these in more detail uh, but for now we gonna configure folder that's the one that we want to do so we remove desktop and we're gonna add folder now notice as soon as I click add this window is gonna pop and basically it's gonna ask you on which folder you're gonna save the scanners so we're gonna do it on computer we're gonna go to local this C and we're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna need that folder scan now the reason why we don't do this on the desktop is because if the customer by mistake deletes the scan folder all the documents desires are gonna be gone uh, this way if they delete the shortcut on the desktop we always have a way to get those files back alright so we're gonna click scan we're gonna click OK now the file the profile is selected so hit next and save and what the program is doing now is saving the profile inside the address book of the copier machine so we're gonna hit next and finish alright now the scanner is saved inside the address book of the copy machine but we just need to do one more extra step so we're gonna open this program again we're gonna go to scanners and notice that you're gonna see all the copy machines that the program detect uh, when we're doing the configuration and it's only checkmark one because that was the only one that we add now we're gonna click that one and we're gonna hit web setup and what this is gonna do is gonna take us to the web interface of that particular machine uh, so we're gonna go to address book and notice here the warehouse folder profile that we just create so we're gonna go inside there and we're gonna register the address as a frequent use that way the customer will see this profile when they go to the copy machine on the first page all right they don't have to search the whole address book to find this folder it's going to be right on the first page all right so we're going to close this and we can go ahead and click ok and close now the profile is configured but the customer still don't have access to the scanner so we're going to go start computer we're gonna look for the local DC drive and we're gonna locate the scan folder that we just create we're gonna hit right click send desktop this way it creates a shortcut of that folder on the desktop and the customer is gonna have easy access to those scanner uh, files alright so this computer is ready to go and I will see you guys in another video